This episode of Diet Trying is brought to you by LG's G3. Welcome to Diet Trying. Where are we? Give a couple of geeks an empty cube and you'll get a bunch of projects. I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Michael Hand. And these actually were empty cubes and you can see remnants <laughs> of emergency kits, automotive fluids, uh, HD TVs, insane gaming machines. There's a lot of projects in the work here. Santeria <laughs> candles, because we need hope too. I, this is actually kind of exciting. I, well, we hope every episode of Die Trying is exciting, but we have some phones that are well above our station. This is LG's G3, LG sponsoring this episode of Die Trying. I literally want to say this is a this is a much nicer phone than this is the greatest phone I've ever had. <laughs> so really great specs, like there's a quad HD uh, display. Is it 538 Five, pixels per inch? It's a, a crazy display. Yeah. You can do cool stuff, like you can do a knock unlock code, so you don't have to have a pin code. And there's uh, a laser in the focusing pew, system. Pew, pew. So really good phone. So I should get you a white cat to pet. <laughs> laser focusing. So because we have such great phones, we want to do cool stuff with it. And these are running Android, so you can do some really great stuff with Android. I should point out what Michael's trying so hard not to blurt out and say, oh my god, you should download Tasker right now because it's the most amazing Android application ever because it's the universal tool, it's a universal widget. It's a schmoo for Android. Yeah, so we're talking about Tasker, which you can do anything that you can think of doing, you can pretty yeah. much do with Tasker. It's like if then, then that inside of your phone, but better. Way better. So we, there's a big community around Tasker on how to set up different tasks. So we kind of trolled the internet and picked out our five favorite ones that you can set up. Number one, our coolest, actually our first of our top five Tasker tasks that you can create to do cool things with your Android-based phone is location-based silencing. So say you want to set it so that if you're in school or you're in class, that you don't want the ringer to go off and you don't want to get in trouble, right. you can set it so that you know, okay, if I'm in this place, I want to turn everything off. Right. Or if you're the person in the office whose phone goes off with a Kesha ringtone and you get stared at by everybody, you walk into the office, the phone goes silent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the Tasker interface. We should mention that it's $3, but trust me, it's worth it. So profiles are the first things you create. These are kind of the triggers. So I want to do a location-based trigger. And in this section, there's a location without tiers section. Uh, this is very useful for figuring out different ways to get location and the trade-offs between them battery life-wise. So I'm going to first find my general location. All right, and then now I'm gonna actually turn off GPS so it doesn't completely kill my battery life. You can also do things like set based on the Wi-Fi network that you're connected to, but this is easy enough. So we'll name it work and then you'll be prompted to create a new task. So this is the actual action that you're going to be doing. So in this case, we want to do silence. Ah, silence. All right, and then we want to add a new task and then we just need to go into audio and then silent mode. And then here we can select, you can turn silent mode on, but I like vibrate better and then back. Then at this point, you can test out your task. So hopefully this turns on, vibrate, done. All right, we'll hit back. And then now we're set. So every time we're in that range, it'll silence the phone. Number two, how about when you plug your headphones in, or I should say plug your headphones into your phone, it automatically brings up a collection of your favorite media apps so you can choose which one you want to listen to. Very useful. Yes. That one's very straightforward too. All right, media players. In this case, we're going to use the state and then hardware, and then headset plugged. So this is when the headset's plugged in. If you want to do something when it's unplugged, you hit invert. But all right, we'll do any. So that'll be our trigger there. And then we'll create another new task. And then we can name it media. new task. In this case, we'll use alert and then menu. This is a way to show different things on the screen. Don't need a name or anything. We'll do, we'll change the layout though. Icon grid. That looks cool. And then we'll add some items. We'll add an app. Launch app. We'll do play music. And then that's fine with me. Uh, add another one, instant video, YouTube, sure. Try it out, plug in, and then we'll do Google Play. Look at that, 
easy. Number three, this is really, really cool. Unlock your lock screen or remove or disable your lock screen when you get to your home. Yeah, because why have all that extra security when... I, I, I probably <laughs> won't do this one because it, I, well, I have a two-year-old at home. Okay. And the two-year-olds, they figured out how to accidentally erase things like my work email. That's why the face unlock was a great idea, but it didn't work super well. But <laughs> potentially you can just lift up your phone and then it's unlocked all the way, yeah. right away. If you don't have children around, this is number three is really cool though. Yeah. All right, this one's a little complicated, but bear with me. First, we're going to make sure that all of the lock screen stuff is disabled. Now we go into Tasker. We're going to trigger this one based on, we're going to state, and then based on which network we're connected to. So first, we're going to select the Texelo Studio. We're going to invert it. So every time we're not connected to Texelo Studio, we'll make a task called set pin. OK. Add a task. We're going to use a third party plugin called Secure Settings. Configure that, then go into dev admin, and then in this case we're going to do password pin, enable that, so we're setting a, a password or pin. We can do the password as temp, security, save. Okay, so that'll lock the, the phone when we're not connected to Texelo Studio, so now we have to unlock it. So same thing, state. Go net, Wi-Fi connected, Texel Studio, we're not going to select that this time. New task, we'll do disable pass, okay. Going to use that third party plugin again. Configure, dev admin actions, password, make sure that that checkbox is selected disabled don't click that so that'll disable it and then so in theory let's try it out so first i'm going to turn off wi-fi all right so in theory we're not connected to texelo studio so let's see if there's a pin or a pass okay cool so what did i set the password as temp okay that's a real big pain let's connect to Texel Studio, so we don't have to do that. All right, we're connected. This is the moment of truth. No password. All right, so number four, I really like this one. It's the lock protector. Lock so, protector? Well, that's what I called it. I don't know. <laughs> so the idea behind this one is that if someone tries to log in your phone and they get three unsuccessful logins, it takes a picture and then that picture gets backed up to Google Drive. That way. You know, you can see who's trying to log in, and then you'd be like, "Hey, Patrick, what's what's this about?" Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this could lead to trouble. This is probably my favorite one. We'll do state. We're gonna use secure plugin again, secure settings again. Hit settings, conditions, failed login attempts. You can set how many we want to do. Three. Make sure device admin is selected. Okay. And then we'll add a new task, we'll name it intruder. First, we're gonna take a picture. If we go to media, take photo, we'll use the front facing camera. We'll name it intruder. And then so we don't have duplicates, I'm going to append the date to the file name. Let's do time instead. And then make sure it goes into the gallery so Google Plus backs it up. Do discrete so there isn't too much. Resolution's fine. All right. So we're going to take a photo and then just for fun, let's do alert. Say intruder. All right, let's try it out. So that's not right. That's not right. There we go, took a picture. Intruder, intruder. <laughs> a little delayed, but all right. Let's check it out. Uh, let's open up that file. So if we go home, it'll be located in DCIM Tasker. 
Oh, look at, look at that beauty. Might want to set a, a higher resolution, but there's, there's, <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> yeah. Number five, what Michael calls the signal flare. This yeah. is so awesome. Uh, so this, the idea of this is that if your battery is getting low, but it, it can be a bad thing if like someone that you love is trying to get in contact with yeah. you. So the idea behind this one is that if it gets to like 5% or 10% battery on your phone. It's dying act is to send out a text message to your boss, your friend, your spouse, whoever in your life will call you 27 times when your phone battery dies because they know you've been crushed by a freight train. It'll basically send them a text message that says my battery is down to X percent. Yeah, just Be give. Warned. Just gives them a heads up, and then you don't have to worry about all that nagging afterwards. Yes. <laughs> Last one, we'll do state, power, battery level. You can set a range here. Okay. I have to make sure that I'm not going to like auto-trigger this a million times, but I'm sure there's ways to prevent that. So we'll do text pet. Okay. Add a new task, phone, send SMS. We'll set it to go to Patrick. Message, I'm dying. Who needs punctuation when you're dying? All right, that should be okay. And then now whenever this is triggered, it'll send a text to Pat. What's crazy about this is this is just the beginning for Tasker mm. for you because you can pretty much get it to do anything. Yeah, the hardest thing about Tasker is coming up with the idea of what you want to do. If you're the kind of person, it's funny, right? You start searching a cool Tasker or Tasker fun, things are done with Tasker, what's your favorite Tasker task? You'll run into people who like, who their alarm clock goes off and then it, it, it does crazy stuff if they don't turn it off. And mm. then when they, they stand up and go to the bathroom, it starts playing like motivational <laughs> songs or videos or soundtracks. It's, you know, and I then- I love people. People are awesome, you know. Um, NFC tags, so that when you touch the mm. NFC tag in the car, it automatically like launches Pandora or Spotify, you know, hooks into the car stereo, pulls up Google Maps, turns off Wi-Fi. It's crazy. Yeah, also check out tasker.wiki.com. Mm -hmm. There's a whole list of step-by-step -step instructions for a, yeah. a ton of advanced, intermediate, and beginner tasks. So one, Tasker is awesome. Two, you should put Tasker on your Android phone now. And one last thing, if you haven't subscribed, do us a favor, dietrian.com or youtube.com slash dietrian. Please, and thank you. And hey, send us an email <laughs> with your favorite Tasker task at dietrian at remission3.com. Yeah. Or comment down below and tell us what you do and then maybe how you do it if you need extra plugins. And if it'll light things on fire, <laughs> you should tell us in advance. Yes. Because of, you know, insurance. <laughs> I'm Michael Hand. I'm Patrick Norton. See you later.